nothing broken with the people that we work with. It is more of an uncovering and tapping into the genius that is within them and letting go of all the limiting beliefs and judgments that they have so that they can really prosper. And I think what we've created for you here, because then my desire was, how can I help more people? Well, what if I could help you get better at what you're doing? Help you know that anybody that comes to you, whether it is a team member or whether it is a coaching practice that you're starting, anybody that comes to you, you know that you can help them. You understand the process and you can help them in an individual session or in a group. Would that be valuable to you to know how to do all of that? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna share my screen and go through the curriculum. You're gonna learn about what I have put together with my team to create what I think is one really powerful coaching program, certification program. We're gonna go through the certification requirements as well. And then the time commitment, the investment, and I'll answer any questions. But I am so happy to answer questions as we go too. So let me share my screen now. Yeah, okay, perfect. Just gonna open up the chat so I can see it here, perfect. So when I thought about why create a coaching certification program, what is it that I want for you? It's really to create world-class coaches who can confidently transform their clients' lives through a profitable coaching business that supports their lifestyle. To know how to coach is one thing, but to have a thriving practice, whatever that means to you. And this is what I love about it. You get to do it the way that you want to do it. And the beautiful thing about it is that it gets to evolve as you evolve. You know, when I had, um, when my boys were younger, I didn't want to work evenings. And honestly, that hasn't changed. I, I, I'm an, I, I like to get up early, start my day early and also finish early. So I don't do coaching in the evening. But when I first started, I did when I first had my psychotherapy practice, when I first was uh, helping clients, I was seeing people one-on-one, -on -one, individual, then it, it expanded into, into couples. And then when I started working in uh, coaching, it expanded to teams and groups. So do you see what I, like what I love about this is that we get to create what we want and we are not locked in. But the most important thing for me is that whether you use this to enhance what you're doing right now, in, with your teams or with your current business, or it's to create a coaching business. I want you to be profitable because I'll tell you something, and we're going to go through this in the curriculum. There's a lot of output energetically that happens as a coach, and you must be compensated. How can I say this so you'll hear me? I don't know. Do I need to shout it? I know. It's like, Henna, but you know what I'm talking about. You must be compensated because if you are not, you will start to resent the work and you will resent your clients. You must be compensated. And here's what I believe. I believe that my coaching is so transformational and so powerful that the way that I work and teach is so powerful that people transform simply by being in my energy. And I have clients on this call that can attest to that. And so this is what we're going to teach you. And imagine saying that. I also believe that my clients love to pay me. They love it because they understand that in all honesty, they can't pay me what I'm worth. Now imagine if you could feel confidently saying that, and I do not say that out of arrogance, and I do not say that from ego, I say that from spirit. One of the things I've just been sharing a lot about is what one of my coaches, Steve Hardison, who I worked with last year um, for the month of August with in Arizona, he said, Hina, the most powerful person in the room is the listener. So when you're listening to me say these things, you hold the power. 
you can listen to that as, oh my God, she's so arrogant. She's so full of crap. Or you can listen to it as what is possible for you. And I really suggest that just for this hour, let's choose the latter. That all I'm sharing with you is what is possible for you. And what I have created is a methodology that you can feel this confident no matter what tools you use. Maybe you have a, a certain program that you love to share and teach. Maybe this is to add to what you already do. Maybe you're going to use this from the get-go. But I want you to feel, I want you to feel even more confident and just get better and better and better. And I want you to create a profitable business so that you've got a wait list if that's what you desire that you're sought after, if that's what you desire, that people feel friggin' amazing just by being in your energy. Someone here, I think it was you, Jaya, who said, I'm just here to be in your energy, basically, was it. I always feel better. That's what you can do for other people. And you know how you do it? You make it a habit but you infuse this into every interaction, into every session. So are we ready to get started? Are we ready to get started? And some of you may have been involved in other coaching programs before, coaching certification programs before. I have, I just did NLP last year. I did the U squared quantum leap method. I've, in, I've, I've done other programs as well. For the purpose of today, I just want you to hear this, not from, well, I know this, I've done that. Hear it from the place of, could this support me in the being in this? In my next level, that's all. That's all, okay. Oh, I love it, Andrea. It's like, I already have chills. Here we go, okay. So I want to tell you a little bit about the coaching applications and you're going to hear a lot of content right now. I also want you to know that we are available after for um, conversations too. So just know that, that this is not the only time you're going to hear it and you will get a recording. So you also feel free to relax so you can really listen to this and not feel like I've got to get all of the information. The mind-body connection. When you work with clients and when you work with people on your team, many people are disconnected. Many people are um, not even aware of the mind-body connection. So when we talk about it in the curriculum, we talk about how to bring this to the awareness of your client so they can start to see how the results in their life are part of their mind-body connection. They can start to see the root cause. You'll also learn how to move clients from a stuck state to a state of possibilities. Clients are coming to you, or maybe someone on your team is coming to you with a problem. You'll be able to learn with under a minute how to shift them, how to move them, to a, move them from a stuck state to a state of possibilities. You're going to have tools. And when I talk about tools, I'm talking about the language, the exact sentences, exact language to, you, to uh, work with limiting beliefs and judgments. At the end of the day, that is what is holding our clients back. Are there limiting beliefs and judgments? But many times, can I tell you something? They are going to argue for it. They're going to hold on to it because it's what they know. And it is scary for them to start to think about what if that wasn't true? Holy moly. Like what if all of this time there were other possibilities? Sometimes that can actually be a huge realization and a scary one. You'll learn how to hold the space for them too as you're working through this. I gotta tell you, I want to sign up. I'm like, this is good. You know, when you see your work and you're like, oh, this is good. That's how I feel about this. Okay. Let's see here. And then working with the client's subconscious mind in the sessions. 
I'm just going to move. Sorry, I've got to move things around so I can even see my slides here. And so what does that mean? Well, what that means is we communicate on so many different levels. When you are sitting in a session with a client or speaking to somebody, you're also picking up energetically what is going on, which is why, have you ever had this situation? It could have even be on a personal note where someone is saying something to you and they're saying it with conviction, but you're picking up something else. Have you had that ever? Let me know in the chat if you've ever had that. What we, we call that a double binding message. And it's not that they're trying to um, pull the wool over your eyes at all. It's just, that's just speaking to their confusion. And then you're able to speak to what they don't have language for yet. Oh my God, this is so good. Do you understand that they don't have the language yet? And this is what we do in this work is that we also are able to give it language for them to bring order to, the, to their mind.